Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and LEGO Ideas just revealed the third 2023 review. This round has 42 projects that qualify, and the results will come in summer 2024. And any project that gets selected will become an official LEGO set by 2025. So let's take a look at what I think will become an official set and which other projects will not be made. First up are some modular buildings, including the Heritage Museum, which is too similar to the Natural History Museum that just came out. We also have City Burger and the IKEA store. However, LEGO Ideas did reject modular projects back in the day, and they recently approved the Botanical Garden. So I think LEGO will have to hold off on modular ideas projects if this upcoming set sells well. Next are three architecture sets based on the Great Temple of Abu Simbel, World Trade Center Twin Towers, and Italian Rivera. And just like the modulars, LEGO cannot make these architecture idea sets simply because they already have an official architecture theme. Then we have two vehicles of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Car and a tractor. Pretty sure those vehicles will have to go in the LEGO Icons vehicle sub-theme outside of ideas. Next is the Moon Palace. This model was created by LEGO Truman, who did Starry Night. And it is inspired by the legend of Chain E and the Moon Rabbit. But I do love the Chinese palace inside the Crescent Moon. I would love to see this set get made, but might be something to do with the Lego Ninjago or Monkey Kid themes, I guess. What about Lego space sets? There's the NASA SLS Block Run rockets and the James Webb Space Telescope. Well, I don't think LEGO will choose both of them because of those new Technic space sets that were recently revealed. For an anime, I do like the build of the minifigure and skeleton bodies split in half. However, a bigger version of Anatomy got rejected years ago, and LEGO did make buildable minifigures in official sets. So I kind of doubt that this one will happen. Then we have the Pink Palace from Coraline. This first version was made by the Big Chicken, and there's a second version made by Lord Climentos 66749. Even though I don't know much about Coraline, LEGO rarely picks Ideas House projects like Home Alone and Hocus Pocus, so I'll give this one a maybe. As for Good Ogil's Garden, this will not be made because there are already LEGO plants in a couple of botanical sets. Next up, we have three projects based on different music groups, including Billy Eilish's song, Happier Than Ever. We also have Harry Styles and Stray Kids. Since the BTS set came out, we did saw a few music projects got rejected like Taylor Swift. So, I don't know if LEGO will choose these right away. Next, we have Desktop Rock and Roll. The build of the jukebox can open up to see the inside. The top section has the records as well as the coin slot. And the bottom section has a dance floor that features mechanisms. I loved how it turned out, and I could see this one get made especially next to other objects in LEGO form, like the piano and the Polaroid camera. For Fianis and Ferb, this project has the Flynn Fletcher house. Almost looks like the same colors from the Simpsons house a little bit. Even though there are two sets based on this license that are still in review, it seems like this Disney TV show will be coming back with a new season. But we'll see if this project gets selected. Next, we have a microscope. This is an object that is used for science. Like, say, you look at smaller things up close and get examples such as bacteria. 
The build of the microscope does recreate some cool features like the rotating lenses and a light on the bottom. But other than that, I think this could be a really awesome set. For Sequoia Tree Trail, I think this project is something like the tree house and the A-frame cabin a little bit. So it seems like LEGO doesn't want to do any idea sets that were similar to previous approved projects. For Tesla, I just don't think LEGO will make any sets based on real places at all. Like they've denied sets based on McDonald's and GameStop previously. Next up, we have the working canal lock. This minifigure scale build turned out amazing. I like how the boat can go through the moving gates, as well as the brick-built water rising. But as a bigger model, I'm curious of how this one gets selected. For Christmas Theater, this is actually part of the Winter Village sets. So, Lego would not pick this one. But maybe they'll choose sets based on Christmas movies that I'm interested in. As for Wreck-It Ralph... This Disney movie first came out back in 2012, and even though the 10th anniversary already happened back in 2022, might have to wait another 3 years from now until their 15th anniversary. As for the buildable animals, we have frogs and a sea turtle, but with the recent insect set and the upcoming cat set, I'm not sure if LEGO will choose both of them in this round. Next, we also have two sets based on famous people, including Steve Irwin, who was a crocodile hunter, and Elizabeth II, who was the Queen of the United Kingdom. Even though we did saw other people as minifigures like Van Gogh and Galileo, I think those two projects might have a chance. As for Camulet, I've never even heard of this license, but I think the build is kind of like the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set from last year. Moving on to Forest Base, this is almost like the remakes of different Lego Castle sets. And then here's the Vintage Service Station. Like I said before, Lego rarely does any city projects for ideas. For some video game licenses, we have No Man's Sky and Subnica. Never played those random games before, but might be a hold on a new Zelda set that's coming out and the Animal Crossing set's releasing. So I'll give these two a maybe. As for Pirate Treasure Chest, it seems like LEGO already did a Pirate Idea set before so can't see them making another one. Then we have the mechanical flip calendar. The creator, Serials, Bricks, and Pets, also made a similar project of a mechanical clock, which got rejected. That one has time, but this one has months and days. Even though the seasons in time calendar didn't get chosen in the previous BrickLink program, I wonder how this one will get chosen, but we'll just have to wait and see. For Galley of Warriors, looks kind of like a Viking ship a little bit, but with the Viking Village set on the market, I doubt this one will happen. Next is the Krusty Burger from The Simpsons. If this project looks familiar, it's actually its second time reaching 10,000 supporters, after not being approved the first time. And yes, I did make a project showcase video about this a few years ago. So is this project going to get made? Well, Lego did make sets based on the Simpsons house and the Quickie Mart a long time ago. I would like to see it become an official set, but Lego never does idea sets to bring back old themes. I said this before with SpongeBob, and they didn't make it to Krusty Krab. So with this new knowledge, the Krusty Burger is actually not happening due to guideline violations. But it was a good build overall. For the Log Flume, this set would go in the Fairground Collection like the Loop Coaster. So unfortunately, LEGO can't pick this one. As for the A-Team, 
This is the same ideas project that got rejected twice in the past. Even though we did get a LEGO Dimension set of this license, and like how Sonic got an idea set outside of Dimensions, I can't see A Team getting an idea set. And finally, we have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And just like The Simpsons, this same project did got rejected once before. This build almost gave me some vibes of that one board game Candyland. You know, the colored spaces that a player lands on. So interesting to see those colored Lego plates on the path. But with the new Wonka movie already out, which I haven't seen it yet, I do hope this project will get selected this time. And that's a look at all 42 projects. This video took me about 4 days to film this. So while we're waiting on this round, we still have the second 2023 review results to be announced very soon. So stay tuned for that. But let me know which of those 42 LEGO Ideas projects you would like to see get made. Don't forget to subscribe to Brickmeister Z and turn on notifications so that you don't miss my future videos. And if you haven't already, please support my skee-ball project to become an official LEGO set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.